Welcome to Corporal's Corner. They were using a military poncho to construct a basic plow point shelter. So stick around. The one piece of gear that I carry with me into the field all the time is the military poncho. Not only can this lightweight multi-use item be used to keep you dry, it can also be used for water collection and shelter construction. For today's exercise, we will need our basic shelter kit and a military poncho. The basic shelter kit consists of a lighter, a knife, one large loop, four small loops, four tent stakes, and cordage, minimum 50 foot. All right, our paracord is set up with a bowlin and our loops are made. So what I want to do right now is I want to tie a ridge line using a trucker's hitch. Taking the end of my paracord with the bowline, what I want to do is I want to wrap it around this tree and I want to do it anywhere from waist to chest height. The first part of your trucker's hitch, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to tie a loop on your line. This end right here is secured with a bowline to that tree on that end. So take your hand, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my line, I'm going to give a little bit of slack here, and I'm going to rotate it towards that tree. Just like so. And it creates a loop. I'm going to lay that loop on top of my paracord, and I'm going to pull it through. Just like that. Now I'm going to pass my remaining cordage through this loop. I'm going to pull it towards my tree. Keeping my line secure, take my index finger and thumb, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pinch that loop right there. Take my excess cordage, drape it over, reach inside that loop, pull it through. Alright, our ridge line is set up with a trucker's hitch. Normally what I would do next is take my large loop from my shelter kit and tie a prusik on my line. But because I'm dealing with a military poncho in a plow point configuration, what I want to do is grab my excess cordage and measure it from fingertip to chest in length, cut it and burn the ends. The trucker's hitch is now complete, however we have all this excess cordage. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and wrap it up and use it for a toggle. To do that, I'm going to place the overhand knot on my end, and then do a figure eight around my pinky and thumb. What I want to do right now is go ahead and grab one of my corner grommets from my poncho. I'm going to carefully remove the excess cordage from my trucker's hitch. I'm going to take my loop. I'm going to pass it through my corner grommet. Then place my cordage back through that loop. Just like that. Then we go ahead and reach underneath and I'll pull that loop tight. Taking my three loops from my shelter kit, I have three more grommets. What I want to do is go to my corners, place the loop through, and pull it tight. This is called a lark's head knot. 
Now taking your four tent stakes from your shelter kit, what I want to do is go ahead and start on my opposite end. I'm going to pull it tight and stake it down. Now that we got our military poncho in a basic plot point configuration, you notice there's a lot of excess material right here. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and tie this up. I want to do that using a Prusik knot. So the piece that we cut from fingertip to chest in length, I'm going to take this and I'm going to tie a Prusik on my ridge line. Now taking my long cordage, what I want to do is I want to make a bite. So all you got to do is fold it over just like that. I'm going to go ahead and lay it on top here. I'm going to open the loop up, place the excess through it. That's a lark's head knot. So what I want to do is do that two more times and create my Prusik. There's two. And one more makes three. Now the last thing I want to do is grab my short tail. I'm just going to wrap it around and pass it through for an overhand knot or a stopper knot. I'm going to slide it up and then pull it tight. The last thing I want to do for this Prusik is connect it to the center of my poncho. I'll give you a couple of options on how to do that. Okay, so option number one is taking your hood drawstring Got that right there. Place a knot in it. Now pass your line from your Prusik through the drawstring, just like so. And you want to create a slip knot. So all you're going to do is go around it and back through, just like that. Then what you want to do right here is put an overhand knot or stopper knot. Just like that. So a slip knot and a stopper knot equals a jam knot. Option two consists of finding a small, smooth river stone or even a pine cone. And what you want to do is you want to place it inside your hood, just like that. And you want to tie the exact same knot configuration, meaning a jam knot, which is a combination of a slip knot and a stopper knot, around your stone and pull it tight.
welcome back this is good to go once again we've shown that old school gear is not obsolete and we don't need to fix what's not broken thank you for the comments views and support thanks for watching i'll catch you next time